In this tutorial, you will learn how to select what data you want to have displayed in your management tree. The management tree filter can assist when only working with specific data, such as only 2020 grain harvest or only data for a particular grower. You will learn to use the management tree filter, modify the filter settings, turn the filter off, and utilize the filter settings in other areas of the software. To begin, click the Enable Management Tree Filter icon above your main management tree. The Management Tree Filter Settings window will open, where you can select what filters you would like to establish. You can filter by grower, farm, field, year, operation, products, and even by a specific date ranges. If you would like additional filter items to choose from, you can click the Edit Items to Filter By button. From this window, you can select any management or property items to add to the filter list. For example, if you want to filter your data by the vehicle used for an application, you can click the Management Item dropdown, select Vehicle, then click Add. Click OK to view the additional filter. When making these filter selections, you can choose individual management items, multiple items, or all items. After making your selections, click OK. Your management tree will refresh and include all the data sets that fall within your filter parameters. Now that you have filtered your management tree, other areas of the software will allow you to base your results only on the data that is currently being displayed in the filtered management tree. For example, with your management tree filtered, you can choose to run a report. The selected data filter window includes a checkbox that allows you to apply the management tree filter. This filter will allow you to include only the data that you have selected to view in the management tree in your report. To turn the management tree filter off, click the Disable Management Tree Filter icon above the management tree. This will disable the management tree filter that you previously turned on. But if you click the Enable Tree Filter button again, you would see that your previous filter selections have been saved. You have now learned how to filter and unfilter your management tree. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.